Good morning and happy Monday to you guys. It's Monday for us as well. We've just been doing life. I remembered something that I wanted to show you guys that I haven't gotten a chance to show you yet. Good morning, guys. I thought we could show them what we haven't shown them yet. Oh my goodness, oh yeah, we finished it. We finished, well, Peter finished. So yeah, this is, if you didn't hear the story, it's a cedar chest that was given to us early in our marriage and it's very special to us. So we wanted to repaint it since it was like a, a dark green on the bottom. So he painted it white and just put a clear coat on top, like refinish the top, put a clear coat. So. And we put it on, in the windowsill in here for Harry to sit on while we're working. Yeah, because he really likes to look out the window and sit in the sunshine and all of that. And Ollie usually always lays right here, which is funny. I don't really know why. Well, actually, I do know why. At the moment, the entire carpet is covered. It's just covered with stuff. We're, you know. Life is a process. Okay, I'm gonna do that kind of video where okay. they like, it's I like this, yes, yes. And, oh yeah, they like do it with celebrities. Wait, please don't fall down the stairs. stairs. Uh, and, and they like ask them 20 questions yes. while they're walking through their house. Okay, ready? All right, ask away. First thing you put in your mouth in the morning. Coffee. How do you make your coffee? Cream and sugar. Um, oh wait, I'm not allowed to say um. <laughs> <laughs> Most embarrassing memory. Most embarrassing memory when I had to poop in an alley. Oh! <laughs> Except you were alone, so I don't know how that can be embarrassing. I, well, you know, that's true. I guess it's just a fact of life. I think it's still embarrassing even being alone. <laughs> um, it's your birthday. What do you want for dinner? It's not actually Maryland his birthday. Blue crabs. Ah, yes. Mm. It's your birthday. What's your dessert? My dessert is. I guess this depends on where we're at, who we're with. Yeah. Well, what do I. Growing up. Let's do growing up. Growing up? Growing up is your birthday. Well, there's like a season where I always wanted an ice cream cake. Ice cream cake? Because ice cream cakes are delicious. Um, my mom makes amazing angel food cake and she makes one that is layered like angel food cake and then like strawberry and whipped cream. Yeah. Or the middle layer has like jello in it too. Right. I think. Yep. And it's like covered in whipped cream. Oh, it's basically like a built in strawberry shortcake. Right. That one's so good. Well, I think I you and I ate an entire one of those cakes a couple years ago. I'm not surprised. Because we were at your um, well, mom's house for your birthday. One year, or I think there was a season in my life. Um, mom, I, th I think I need to have- Do you need to phone a friend? Well, no, I'm just telling my mom because she's probably watching and I think I need to have Granny's chocolate chip cake again sometime. Is remember... that the one with the little red things on top? No, those are Granny's cupcakes. Um, my grandmother, she passed away when I was young. I'm trying to think how young. I don't really remember her. Well, I do have, I have memories at their house. Um, but there's a few like family traditional foods that come from her. Yes. And one is this, it's like a, I think it's like a pound cake yeah. with okay. chocolate chips. And then it's covered in like this hard chocolate it's not like icing. It's, it's like, like a glaze that hardens. Yeah, a glaze that hardens. So it's like chocolate chip and it's got chocolate chips in it. It's really dense and it's really good. Anyways. I realize we have to move from oh, the yes. video. Okay. Um, so what's next? All you have is some old pepperoni in the fridge, flour and water. What are you going to make? I'm going to make pepperoni pizza. No. What do you make with flour and water? Like flatbread. Oh, can you do that? Yep. Okay, pepperoni flatbread. Oh, oh dear. Oh dear. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. You moved your best down here. All right, time to All switch. the plants are going to be deleted. You can only keep one. Ready, set. Uh, of these plants in yes. here? Yes. Ooh. 
Oh, I feel nervous. Um, <laughs> I mean, including the big guy out there. Just like. I, I like this one here. Okay. If I can keep both yep. of those. Yep, you can. Yeah, I it's like It's a two those. for one. Okay, your turn. Oh, great. All right, so. Um, Just walking through my house. Okay, first thing you put in your mouth in the morning. Coffee. Okay, how are you drinking your coffee lately? Oh, yes. Should I make a cup? Do you want a cup? I think so. <laughs> okay, tell us about your coffee. Okay, I start with a mug. Okay. We use these coffee pods that don't have plastic on them, and they're cheaper, and they're better. They are, I would say they aren't like the best, like my favorite cup of coffee, but it's a good cup of coffee. It doesn't taste like gross, old yeah. gross. Yeah. Anyway, I start with that. I've been brewing the bigger cup. Oh, I so didn't know that. basically after the virus, so I didn't drink coffee for like three weeks. I just lost my taste for it, just like I do when I'm in the hospital and I don't feel well. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I just, I had this like, I need my coffee to be different. Okay. I usually have cream and sugar. So I was like bulletproof coffee. That's mm. what I need. Which if you've ever had it, it's supposed to be grass fed butter in your coffee and coconut oil. I don't have grass fed butter. I have butter, like table butter like this. So. Mary puts like a tablespoon of butter and a scoop of coconut oil and whisked it up, and you put cream and sugar too, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, I don't really know exactly how bulletproof coffee works for normal people. For me, it just adds some extra calories. I think for normal people, it's supposed to like help them not be as hungry, but to me, it just adds calories. So, some butter. Come here, you can see it melting. It like leaves greasy on your lips. And that's a good thing? It's so good. <laughs> it's delicious. It like, for me, it adds more body to the coffee. I, I, I did taste it yesterday and it did taste more like a latte, like that kind of fuller feeling of a latte yeah. than a cup of coffee, but I think I'll stick with my, my coffee. And might I add, the other day I thought, maybe I could, okay, Yes, I think I was thinking if I'm at a friend's house and they offer me coffee and I'm like, do you have like cream and sugar? And they're like, oh, we don't have any cream. We have skim milk. I'm like. Butter. Maybe butter and coconut oil. There you go. Black instead, does this count as black? Kind Mine of. is cream and sugar. Yeah. Let's see. Need your cream and sugar? Mm -hmm. All right. Guys, yesterday I made uh, beef jerky on the smoker because we also had a pork butt that we needed to, I needed to smoke. So I put that on the smoker and I did beef jerky as well and it's so good. I've eaten most of it today. And we also, Mary, yesterday. Oh, I was, yeah, I was going to get your half and half, but I, um, so actually the pork is in the oven finishing up. It's at a hundred and let's see, it's at 198 degrees. It'll be done when it's around 204. And so we'll probably have that for dinner. But and yesterday I roasted a chicken. We have suspicions that it could potentially be the best chicken I've ever made. It was really good and how we ate the chicken, this was really unconventional, but where I'm slicing the chicken, I said to Mary, man, I wish we had cranberry sauce. Cause I know cranberry sauce goes with turkey, but usually I eat it with chicken too. And Mary goes, we have canned pears, wanna try that? Guys. It was so good. It was so good, like we would take a piece of pear with a piece of chicken and eat it, and I would have never thought those two go together. But it was it so was good. so good. I'm not sure I can eat chicken without pear ever again. And that was our last can of pears. We better place an order. But, yeah. 
<laughs> so how's it? How's your bulletproof coffee? So good. So good. It yeah, and I brew it bigger because it was before I would brew it small because I like wasn't enjoying it very much and I just wanted to drink it. Like, uh, it, it helps me um, wake up. Coffee helps in a lot of different ways. It helps you poop. <laughs> I'm sure, Is that what happened when I'm you sure pooped the butter, in the alley? No, I did not have coffee that day. I don't think. I don't know. Maybe I did. Well, there's our morning. Guys, thanks for tuning in today. <laughs> I know this is kind of a strange walk around the house with us vlog, but... We didn't vlog yesterday because it was Sunday. And here we are. It's Monday. <laughs> Video needs to go up in 15 minutes. We better start editing. Okay, we'll see you guys tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good, Good night. night. Uh-oh. Where's Holly? Holly. Oh, <gasps> here he is. I oh, good night. Mary washed the cover to his dog bed, but it's oh, disassembled. Oh, so chill.